and welcome to the Virtual Entrepreneurship Center. VEC is a collaborative project that is funded by the U.S. Department of Agriculture with participants being Alabama and m University up in Huntsville, Alabama, Auburn University in Auburn, Alabama, and Tuskegee University in Tuskegee, Alabama. My name is Dr. Keenan Grinnell. I'm CEO of Global Capital Group, LLC, out of Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. And right now, we have one of my all-time favorite people in the entire world. And I don't even know if this is considered a fair interview at this point because there's a love fest here. <laughs> and so, but we have with us right now, Dr. Don Terry Veal. He is the director of the Center for Governmental Services at Auburn University. And if I tried to go down by bullet item by bullet item to tell how Don and I are connected, then, then, then whoever's watching this right now will become bored to death. So <laughs> not going to bore, bore anybody. But we're going to be talking to Don uh, basically about um, the importance of transparency in small business finance. That whole concept about transparency hasn't really been out here um, 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 for, for a while. And I'm really interested in hearing his take on, especially from the uh, small business side of it because he spent a lot of uh, scholarship and conceptual and intellectual time over the last couple of years kind of focusing in on the, from from uh, the public sector side. But now we're going to have a conversation. What does this concept mean in the world of entrepreneurship and small business finance? But before we, we venture into that dialogue, Dr. Veal, tell us a little something about yourself, the man, the, the, uh, the, the leader, the vision, and and I haven't done this with anybody else. The legend. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it's clear that we go back a long way. <laughs> I appreciate this opportunity, Keenan. Um, well, where can, where can I start? Now, of course, I'm the director of the center at Auburn. I've been with Auburn now for actually 14 years this June. Mm -hmm. And um, that's actually next week, mm -hmm. right? Um, our center provides technical assistance to cities and counties throughout the state of Alabama. As you know, um, our mission goes beyond Alabama. It um, addresses issues with, within the nation. Mm -hmm. Currently, we're in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, we're hosting a conference on um, global workforce. Mm -hmm. um, we also have lots of international efforts as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I can say as it relates to the issue of um, technical assistance and transparency in general, um, we basically uh, barked on the conversation of transparency uh, as a result of some of the work that we do uh, with governments. And um, years ago, the state of Alabama received a, a very bad grade um, by Governing Magazine um, for its best practices. Um, actually, they, Alabama received the grade of a D minus. And at that time, that was the lowest in the nation. Mm -hmm. And um, so we were involved in the issues, the issue of best practices. How can we strengthen Alabama's best practices? Actually, that was very entrepreneurial mm -hmm. on your part to be mm -hmm. able to see that and see that state that you're currently residing in, and especially being at. Um, uh, the land grant institution in the state, basically, uh, with all of the prominence that Auburn University has, you saw an opportunity to change that. Yes, yes. I yeah. like that. I like that. Well, yes. let me ask this question. Sure. How does transparency uh, for a governmental entity differ from transparency from a small business? And why is transparency so important? You were beginning to sure. say some of that, but, you know, government, public sector, small business, but why is this whole business about transparency so important, Don? We, what we learned when we were addressing the issue early on about transparency, mm -hmm. uh, we actually, it was a eureka moment. Uh, we, mm -hmm. were, we were calling, mm -hmm. governing, asking about other questions of best practices. How, how, can I, how can we improve in this area and how mm -hmm. can we improve in other areas mm -hmm. as a state? And um, we then asked the question, well, what's the criteria for transparency? Because mm -hmm. you know, Alabama wasn't transparent, mm -hmm. and uh, they, it, it was often stated that they were not. Mm -hmm. So after, um, shortly after that, we learned that there was not a criteria mm -hmm. for transparency. And you correct, Keenan. Um, 
what we discovered that that the criteria for transparency was difficult to uh, to cre to create. We then developed that as a mission. So it became an entrepreneurial activity for us, mm -hmm. and and you know um, you know this very well as, as also um, the fact that uh, our mandate is for us to be entrepreneurial. Um, although we work with governments, um, there are times we work with the private that we work with the private sector as well. But for the most part, um, we saw this as an opportunity to strengthen our brand. Mm -hmm. um, we, 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 we dug further. Mm -hmm. We hosted a conference at the National Press Club on transparency in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. Mm -hmm. um, you were actually part of that conference. Um, we, we, certainly, we, we still relish in that. Uh, and we, we relish your, your contribution as well. Um, and um, let's keep this clean. This can't be no love fest between <laughs> us on, on this video. So, so, so let's just stick with just you know <laughs> responding to the questions. The, the bottom line, the bottom line is, is that, um, but but without your contribution, it would not have been every contribution like yours. Um, but but the bottom line is that uh, we learned that transparency was important for governments, mm -hmm. and then it had transitional power, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, we then learned the value of trans transparency for small businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, we learned the value of transparency for the fiscal community. Mm -hmm. If you think about this whole conversation of transparency, um, that was the real problem with the bank, with the uh, the housing. Oh, right. oh yeah. The house, the, the the real problem with the Wall Street meltdown. Now you're really finna educate us. Now. Oh, okay. okay. And so. And so we can learn that um, uh, that it's important for practices, businesses, business practices to have transparent, mm -hmm. uh, transparency mechanisms in place. Mm -hmm. and, and so if we're talking about small businesses, and I'll be very brief here, um, you, if you think about the, their mission, it's important that they have their records in place. It's important that they have appropriate audits. It's, it's important that they have various methods that could be viewed uh, if one makes the decision to dig into their practices, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. um, are, are there policies in place? So if you do not have policies in place, create some, have someone to do it for you. Um, hire a group, a consultant agency, hire someone to get those things and put it in order. And, and our message to them is that when you have these practices in place, you're more likely to grow your enterprise. You, you're more likely to mm -hmm. um, strengthen your infrastructure uh, and, um, and, and the businesses that make that a priority, that make sure that they have practices that are appropriate and in alignment with um, mandates, taxes, we can go on. Mm -hmm. um, companies that have those appropriate things in order are more likely to be in position to grow when growth efforts are, are necessary. Um, even in, in terms of financing, many some businesses need banks, uh, uh, need bank support. And many of them don't have bank support because they don't have various practices in place. Mm -hmm. And so transparency means for us good business or good government. Mm -hmm. Do you have mechanisms, mecha mechanisms in place so that you can appropriately function and you can operate. And operate, when we say operate, we're saying operate in a way that's consistent with good practices. You know, you, you, you talked about a eureka moment. Um, and I know about eureka moments, but I know you. This is perhaps really derivative from a, a much deeper body of work. You noticed a problem. You saw it in print media. You saw an eyesore on the state. You, 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 you took an entrepreneurial uh, approach to problem solving. But what is it about your personal professional portfolio that makes this such a sweet spot for you to, to be involved in, 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 in this kind of transformative uh, sort of pra financial practice not just on uh, the public side, but the private side now. And, and also, second part of that is really convince the, 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 the small business owner that they got to do this, because without doing this, you know, there's that's, that's some things that, that, that could really, really happen you know, on the negative side of the ledger for them. So 
Yes, yes. Um, Your body of work. Yes. I, 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 years ago, I, I like starting from this from mm. this um, point because um, there's a lot of meaning to to pointing this out because this, that this is how we got where we are or how mm. I got where I am on this mm. subject matter. Mm -hmm. My background is public finance, mm. and so when it comes to the budget side of of, of operations operations in general, I'm interested. <laughs> um, okay, because that's that's how I of course. Uh, was trained to think about some of that, but um, but when it comes to the private sector, I got into this years ago uh, as a result of um, a, a group of South African presidents coming to Auburn University. They came to Auburn, and uh, we were on notice notice because we assumed we assumed that they would be interested in issues of government governance. We're the Center for Governmental Services. Right. And so we were waiting for the call because we assumed that we would have to help out and help their governmental practices in South Africa. But the shift, the call changed. Rather than talk about government, we were asked to develop for them an entrepreneurship conference in Cape Town, South Africa. And um, I remember a little something. And you, and you, of course you remember a little about that because you were, you were central to that conference as well. Um, actually, we sprung board off of the, the, entre the entrepreneurship summit that you were hosting, that you were the founder of at Auburn at the time. Uh, but our center was, was centrally involved in that effort. What I, what I remember about that, Keenan, is that um, we went to South Africa to talk about a number of ways and how small businesses can grow, how they can develop, how they can think differently about opportunity and entrepreneurship and initiative. And, and those principles were created largely for South Africa because they were going through a challenged economy. Fast forward eight years later, almost, maybe not quite eight, we found ourselves having the same talk to those in the United States because we had a fiscal meltdown. You know what? I'm going to stop us here because this is getting ready to get extremely interesting. And I want him to have the depth and breadth in March of two to tell it. So we're signing off, but we'll be back.